Om Namah Shivaya students. Students, in today's class of language, we will do another topic from your grammar section, adverb. Now students, what is an adverb? An adverb is a word that modifies, that means describes a verb or an adjective or an adverb. Now look at the examples. He sings loudly. How he sings? Loudly. Very tall. How tall? Very. Or ended how? Too quickly. Ended when? Too quickly. Or even a sentence, I had brought an umbrella. How? Fortunately. So in these four examples, the words loudly, very, a, too quickly or even fortunately is described either a verb or an adjective or an adverb or even a sentence, a whole sentence. So the word that modifies a verb or an adjective or an adverb or even a sentence is called an adverb. Okay. Now adverbs often end in ly but some such as fast look exactly the same as their adjective counterparts. We will see mostly the adverbs ends with ly. The words end with ly, but there are exceptions also. Now, look at the few more examples that I have given. Tom Longboat did not run badly. Tom is very tall. The rest finished too quickly. Fortunately, Lucy recorded Tom's win. So, these are the examples given over here. Now, students, we will be learning the kinds of adverbs. There are nine kinds of adverbs. Okay. Now, number one, adverbs of manner. Adverbs of manner tell us how or in what manner something was carried out. That means how the incident or the ha happening has happened. They mostly modify verbs and can often be found at the end of a clause. This category comprises the most common adverbs, the ones that end in ly. So as we have talked of that adverbs mostly end in ly. And adverbs of manner are such examples only. Here are some examples of adverbs of manner. Look at the words beautifully, generously, happily, neatly, patiently, softly. So these are the words. Now let's see how they can be applied in sentences. He trimmed the white roses neatly. I combed my dog's fur carefully because it has lots of tangles. There is no reason why you can't discuss the topic with me calmly. Okay, now next number two, adverbs of time. Adverbs of time detail when the verb took place. That means when, which time. It is mentioning about the time. We usually see these kinds of adverbs placed at the beginning or end of a sentence. Now, the words can be annually, daily, monthly, recently, tomorrow, weekly, yearly, yesterday. And how they can be applied in sentences? Lately, you have been rude to everybody around. When? Lately. They recently relocated to Santa Fe. The morning newspaper arrives daily. So when the incident is happening, that is told by adverbs of time. And number three, adverbs of place. That means where the incident happens or has taken place. Adverbs of place tells us more about where the verb took place. Where? Okay, you have to question the word with where. These tend to pop up after the main verb or direct object of the sentence. You have to mention direct object. Okay, here are some common adverbs of complex, above, below, everywhere, here, in, inside, into, nowhere, out, outside, there. Now look at the examples how they can be applied in sentences. In Ireland, there are thatched roof cottages everywhere. Clearly, there aren't any leprechauns here. I was beguiled. I drove into a ditch. So the bold words are the examples of adverbs of less. Number four, adverbs of degree. Adverbs of degree tell us more about the intensity of the verb in the sentence. That means to extent, to what extent or to what degree, how much. Okay. So that means in other words, describe how much or to what extent the happening can happen. Adverbs of degree can also modify adjectives and other adverbs and are placed before the word they modify. Popular adverbs of degree include almost enough. Hardly, just, nearly, quite, simply, so, too. And let's look at the examples how they can be applied in sentences. This short essay is hardly sufficient. It is simply not enough. I am so excited to move to Ireland. Adverbs of frequency. Adverbs of frequency let us know how often the verb occurs. Therefore, they mostly modify verbs. These adverbs 
tend to appear right before the main verb in the sentence. Okay, now what can be the category? Again, always, never, normally, rarely, seldom, sometimes, usually. And how they can be applied in sentences? I always read a book before bed. Does he normally walk his dog at this time? She usually shops at the Korean market in town. So, these are the examples of adverbs of frequency. Next, number 6, adverbs of affirmation and negation. Adverb of affirmation and negation is a word which declares that something is true or some equivalent expression or negative statement, judgment or a logical proposition which emphasizes something as positive or negative. So, these words are adverbs of affirmation or negation. Certainly, definitely, never, no. And how they can be applied? I will definitely do that. So, what definitely is affirming the listener that the speaker is going to do the talks which is being talked about. Definitely, surely. So, definitely is an example of adverb of affirmation. And I will never do that. In the sentence, never is negating the sentence. It is telling that the speaker is not going to do the particular talks. And hence, never is an example of adverb of negation. Okay, number seven, adverb of reason. Adverbs of reason are also sometimes called adverbs of purpose. Now, adverbs of reason are words used to tell the reason behind the happening of a particular occurrence. Why the incident has taken place? Why? What is the reason? Therefore, hence, because so are examples of adverbs of reason. Because he was not feeling well, he didn't go to school today. It was raining heavily, therefore we stayed in the house. He was let, hence was not allowed to ascend, attend the assembly. I was hungry, so I ate pizza. So these words are telling you the reason of the happening and hence they are called adverbs of reason. Interrogative adverbs number 8. Interrogative adverbs are why, where, when and how and they are used to ask questions. Interrogative means they are asking questions and interrogative adverbs the words that the adverbs that are asking you questions. Look at the examples. Why is the garden in such a mess? Where is your sister? When are you going to grow up? How can you eat a freezer pool of pizzas in one evening? So these words are the examples of adverbs, interrogative adverb. And last we will learn about relative adverb. Now relative adverb is an adverb where when or why introduces a relative clause. So interrogative adverbs and relative adverbs are actually the same words used but differently. They can be used differently. Okay. Look at the example, show me the house where he was assaulted. Where can also be interrogative adverb also, but in this sentence it is used as a relative adverb. Because it is relating the clause, it is relating, it is relating to you the noun. Now, and this is the reason why he left. Do you know the time when the Punjabi male arrives? Okay, so students will learn altogether nine different kinds of adverbs. Now in the next video we will, so, we will solve an exercise on the same. Till then, thank you. Om Namah Shivaya.